What's going on? This is my life in the shot. I'm your host, Donald Washington. What you guys witnessed was a targeted hit. Four shot, one kill. The person killed is in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, his name is Devin Welsh, 31 years old. This happened on the 116 block of Southwestern, August 30th at 1.35 p.m. in Morgan Park. They're saying over 20 to 30 shots fired at the shooters, which is one right there. Stood over this man and kept shooting. Not only that, targeted hit at a um, restaurant, a pancake house. Who in the hell wears their pants like that? Dude, pull your pants up. Come on, man. This is absolutely insane, dude. Who the hell wear their pants like that? Anyway, um, these are the suspects. That's one of them right there. The other um, two. You're going to see all three of them. They targeted this man. This was a assassination. This was a targeted hit. Make no mistake about that. That they blasted in this spot with women and children there as well. That's why four other people was also hit. Check out that car. I'm not that good with cars, but that's the suspect's cars. This is where it took place at, right here. This is um, Loom's Pancake House, August 30th. That's it right there. They parked over here on the side. This is Loom's Pancake House right here. They parked on the side, ran in and blasted them. This is the Morgan uh, Park area here. If you guys was in this area, This was a targeted hit. Um, I want to read you guys the story of this. They're saying um, four others wounded, 20 to 30 shots, um, and, and dining. So, you know, it's COVID-19, so they got a lot of tents set up outside. So as they were sitting outside, they ran up and shot. Um, I think over 30 people were outside. They're saying he was 100% targeted. They stood over him. Stood over this man. Um, they're saying the other people, witnesses say they heard 20 to 30 shots in large white white tent. Um, now, out of Rochester, Illinois, I mean, uh, New York, I want to show you guys Daniel Purdy, 41 years old. This man put his hands behind his back. This man is naked having a um, breakdown. His brother called the police. He was visiting his brother in New York. This man put his head, put his hands up. They tied this man's head in a bag and then, this is two months before George Floyd, and then pushed his face into the ground, killing this man. Killing this man. Unbelievable. This man died. This death was ruled a homicide. Ruled a homicide. Now these cops should instantly spend the rest of their lives in jail. Look at this. Look at this. They grab this man's neck and force it into the ground. Now the police are trying to say, oh, he had PCP in his system. BS. The medical office ruled it a homicide. Look at him. Anybody, even if he wasn't having a psychotic breakdown, this man surrendered. Look at this. Surrendered. You can't say he went for a weapon. You can't say he was resisting. You can't say, oh, he had priors. Here's a man who laid on the ground, did everything they asked, put his hands behind his back. They handcuffed him, and they still murdered him. Look, they're going to handcuff him put a bag on his head, and then slam his neck in the concrete. Killing him. Killing him. A brutal murder you guys are witnessing. A brutal murder that you just witnessed. Unreal. Unreal. Let's talk solutions. Solutions will be more cops need to come from that community they serve. No way... In hell, it should be 
95% of cops that's in Inglewood from Mount Greenwood. No way. Also, I think that it should be a felony for another cop to um, make a false statement. This will keep them honest. This is how they get the hardest of the hardest criminals to turn on each other. Because if you make it a, a felony, no other cop is going to say, oh, no, I'm coming to cover, cover for you. They got their pensions, they got their wives, they got their families, they got their careers. So they're gonna go to, uh, they're not gonna go on this statement. Every single one of these cops probably put the exact same story. Oh, they were attacked. Oh, he reached for a weapon. But the body cam, that's something else. We need to have 100% of the police with body cam. A lot of people were upset with me. I don't back every single shooting. I'm not everyone, the ones that I could prove I'm backing. And this is no question, unreal, un... I, I can't even really watch this. That you take this man in the head in a bag and you suffocate him like that. Look at that pure evil in that man's eyes. That cop when he grabbed him and he's forcing his head in the concrete. There was two other cops on this man. This was before George Floyd and New York. Why it wasn't just as much outrage and uproar, I don't know. But that's why I'm bringing it to you guys. Anyway, I want you guys to like, comment. Let me know what you think about this video. Peace, peace.